So, um, Laura Wentz messaged me, um, and it, she watched my video of me walking, and she wanted some advice on how to stay positive, and, um, I'm getting over a cold, so if I start, like, if I start, like, um, <clears throat> choking, I'm just trying to cough, Sarah palsy, and, and sick, being sick, no, I might sound like I'm dying, but I'm just trying to cough, <laughs> but, um, she wanted to advice on staying positive, um, what I do is, I surround myself with people that, with friends and family and that are positive because believe me, there are, I have plenty of people in my life that are not positive, <laughs> plenty, um, to be honest, most of them are family and they see me having a disability as not being able to do anything like wanting to help me do everything like every little thing and it really bugs the crap out of me and um I'm probably not the best when it comes to like giving advice on talking to people because I snap at people and then I apologize afterwards and I have a really bad mouth so it cannot it's not good most of the time um but yeah I try to surround myself with positive people and ones that like will let me do like they won't like hound me on stuff and like they'll wait till I ask for help to and, instead of just doing it for me and like when it comes to friends like if you're like my friends joke about my cerebral palsy all the time um and I just have to like we just laugh about it because it's just who I am I don't know um yeah and if they say something that offends me I let them know I let them know real quick <laughs> And then they don't say it anymore. Um, but yeah. And another I don't know if this is staying positive, but um whenever somebody tells me I can't do something, I'm gonna do it just to prove them wrong. Cause then I can do it. It might take me however long, like it might take me years. But I'm gonna I'm gonna eventually do it, like, you know, work up to that, um, as far as the walking goes, you have to be really, you have to work really hard at it, like, really hard, um, you can't just be, like, lazy and be like, oh, I'm not gonna do it today, I don't feel like it, um, cause, uh, to get, for me, well, for one of my goals, like, that video I said was done, um, when I first started college, and today is my last day of being an undergrad, so that was done, like, three years ago, and I was going to therapy, like, twice a week at that time. And I was standing, um, uh, using, like, and I was standing, um, like, 40 minutes at, at a time, like, not taking 
not taking breaks, like building up my muscle, and like it was, it was pretty, it was pretty tough getting working up to that. But um, yeah, and then Sarah Palsy, like most people, have to wear like AFOs and KFO, KAFOs, like the huge. Like the huge ass brace that comes up to your hip and the ones just go above like to your knee but like I had to wear a KFO on my left leg and I don't like that uh, that is heavy stuff like in um I don't know I I liked it because, or I like wearing them. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I like work. I like working my legs and stuff, but they're not comfortable. <laughs> they're not comfortable at all, and they are really hard to get on. So you just have to go in with that mentality that it might hurt. At the, it might hurt. And it might, might be hard. But it's gonna pay off in the end. Um, like right now, like I don't know, I don't know your situation, but I can't physically put AFOs on and KF KAFOs. Well, I'm sure I'm sure I could put AFOs on if I really tried, but um, I'm kind of lazy, and I'm in college, and I don't know. I just don't. I just, I don't know, um, and at the time when I was wearing them, I had, I had just moved out of my parents' house, and I had, my mom made me have attendance, which I hated, I hated, um, and they put them on for me, um, and I don't have attendance anymore, so I just wear regular shoes because, they're easy, or they're easier, and they don't take so long putting them on, and my feet don't hurt. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> it's good to, like, set realistic goals for yourself. Like, don't, like, get this, like, huge goal that you want to do that's not, totally not reachable. Or, I don't know, mm -hmm. I don't know, it could be reasonable if you wanted it to be, but maybe like years down the line, um, yeah, <clears throat> um, just have a good attitude if, like, I don't know, my personality is, I laugh at everything. I like at everything. When I'm nervous, I laugh. When I'm when it's awkward, <laughs> I laugh. When I'm about to cry, uh, I start laughing before I cry. So when I work out and I'm pushing myself way too hard, I will start laughing before I like fall to the ground. So like I just like I'm just like I guess I'm just like a happy a happy person. I guess. I don't know, some people may beg to differ on that one. <laughs> um, yeah. <clears throat> but make sure that you don't push yourself too hard because um, I'm known for that. <laughs> I like to push myself to the max and I have, like, want to go work out and stuff. When I go work out and stuff, um, I, then, that night, like, I can't even, I, I can't even, like, move, like, and that's not good for me because how am I going to transfer into a bed or how am I going to get dressed if I can't move and, mm, yeah. So you just have to, you just have to put everything in line before you, like, 
You just have to think about everything before you start like your routine for the day or whatever. Um. So yeah, I hope that helped. If not, just message me. Um, and if you need anything else, or if you want to see anything else, if you have questions, just message me. Alright. Bye.